thank you very much for joining us. I am Yuri Folani. Well, today, sad news, uh, talking about um, the young lady uh, that made the news over the weekend, uh, a Miss Oluaba Meshe Ayawale, 22-year-old, who boarded a BRT bus, and um, quite frankly, that was the last uh, anybody heard of her, uh, so to speak. But to be much more accurate, she was in contact. She was apprehensive about her whole situation, the circumstances, so was in contact with a friend on the phone. And um, uh, there's a sense. Unfortunately, the police have confirmed her deceased now. Uh, but there was a sense in which um, the police were able to get on this early uh, because of her foresight, because she was in contact with somebody. So it wasn't three, four days after that, you know, people began to, you know, begin to look around and see what can be done. Uh, that is the picture uh, right there. It's such a tragedy. Um, everybody, Governor Sanwolu, and has expressed his condolences and uh, regret for all of this. Uh, the police, the police themselves, you know, uh, said that they will not rest until they get to the bottom of this. In fact, um, uh, we, we, I can see if we can speak right now with uh, the Police Public Relations Officer, Lagos State Command, uh, CSP Adekunle Adishebutu. Uh, as soon as we get him on the line, we'll be able to ask him uh, what the progress report on the situation is. But he definitely is standing by. In the meantime, uh, we have Dr. Tony Ofoyetan, lawyer and Director General International Institute for, of uh, Professional Security in the studio. Uh, as always, Tony, thank you very much for making time for us. Thank you, Uncle Yeri. You know, thank it's, it's, you. it's a real depressing story. Um, I mean, uh, in the sense that when you look at the parameters nothing was wrong um, she didn't take some any any kind of transport it was the bus rapid trans transit and uh, and all of this happened it's 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 a big problem so what, what what's your view on this because the first thing that that goes to one's mind is that but this is not a bole kaja this is not a molue uh, actually uncle Yuri, that is actually the depressing part of the whole thing um, first of all, let me express my very deepest and sincere condolences to um, the family of uh, Bamishile. It's, it's a sad one. Uluwa Bamishile. Uh, Uluwa Bamishile, sorry. Um, it's a sad one. The, the whole motherhood of the African race um, are actually sad about this event. There is no mother that I've heard of this event that is not weeping inside or outside. So I want to join every one of them to express a very deep condolence. Uh, having said so, I also want to um, now bring into for the security, the imperatives of security in Lagos State at it were. Especially urban security, yeah, uh, yes, right? Yes, yes. Um, uh, because uh, normally um, for vehicles like that, there are basics that ought to be in such vehicles. Uh, unfortunately, when we copy things from outside the country, we don't seem to copy it holistically. We only lift the financial aspect of it and leave every other things that are attached to it. A bus like a BRT should normally have a CCTV camera. If you go to outside the country, a place like England or the US, you know, where you have some of these bus, there is no bus, none that does not, none that does not have a functional working camera. Now also you also have it in such a manner that the rest of the response timing is so short. Then of course you look at also a situation like this. When immediately things like this happen, I was hearing the driver when he was apprehended and he said he didn't know those people and uh, they came, they apprehended him at gunpoint and blah, blah, blah. I saw that there's a lot of disparity in it because the, the lady's story was very straightforward. I boarded this vehicle. Immediately I boarded the vehicle. It's natural that no matter how empty BRT, in short, BRT buses are all never empty. You know, but now you are looking at a scenario where the lady is becoming apprehensive because the driver refused to pick any other passenger. That on its own is enough apprehension. And it was on that basis that that lady started chatting with her friend. That look, 
I, I, I don't know the kind of bus I am in. Yes, so I bought this vehicle. It's not picking any other passenger. And the young lady said, when you get to, I think, you know, or something like that, you should alight from the vehicle. And they like, said, okay. And they were chatting. At the time, the lady went in communicado. And her friend became really apprehensive. Really apprehensive. Now, the next thing, the lady, the young girl was declared missing. Missing. The driver yes. himself declared, one, you know, at large. At large, you know. And all of a sudden, what we are seeing is the corpse of the girl. Just now, the argument was initially was that a BRT vehicle hit her, you know, all those stuff like that. But you are now seeing a naked lady or half naked lady with some of her body part gone. Well, well, uh, we will as soon as we can speak with the police, we'll get to the bottom of that because I also heard that you see, you don't know what you're reading. Uh, you know, I, I heard that. Um, Members of her family had confirmed that yes, it was her body at the um, at the morgue, uh, but that she was intact. Okay. With, with one, so you see, she was. It, it, there are all sorts of stories going on. That's why it's important, and that's one of the things we'll try to do this morning to see if we can get to some of the details as much as the police is willing to uh, to give out to, to give out that will not because, impede on their yes, investigation. Yes, because we understand that once they're working like this. Because the the other thing, in addition to what you're saying, uh, you know, I, I, I get you, Tony. Uh, that whole technical aspect, because this is 2021. Um, Security on the bus? I, is that a feasible idea? Is, is it a feasible idea for, it's, it, it's for there to be an assigned security personnel on, on, on every such bus like BRT? No. If you, if you have good technological um, implants in all the vehicles, you don't necessarily need the physical person on ground. But how about, claims, have sorry, sir, how about claims that I was hijacked, you know, that kind of a thing. A camera can notice the hijacking, but a security mm. personnel might indeed frustrate it. I uh, know. You see, when you talk about hijack, uh, it depends on the might of the hijacker, and it depends on the arms that they are bearing as at the time of hijacking. Uh, because don't forget that you cannot ask armed men to always be inside. It's an internal boss system. It's not interstate. Now, if you are talking about interstate, it's understandable. Mm -hmm. But having um, uniformed and armed men mm -hmm. in internal busing system, it's, it's a bit much. It's it's not just much. It can even be, it can be, you know scare away some passengers. You, you think? Yes. Okay, it let, can let's, scare let's, away I, some passengers. I, let's as listen good to the, as it may. Let's listen to the driver again because we have um, a, a bit of sound on uh, film. Um, let's let's listen to the driver. But I pick her from Chevron. Okay. Then I pick the other three guys at uh, at begin. Okay. When those guys showed me the weapon, as I was saying, sir, I was kind of I can't be myself anymore. Fears have come in me. So whatever the man on gun sit down there, whatever he told me, it's what I do. When I follow that cutter bridge, after they had to over high bridge. They order me to stop there. Yeah. And when they order me to stop, so I should open the door. When I open the door, then they ask track. When they come down, they now start dragging her down. When I saw she was crying for help, actually I'm helpless. So I was just thinking that she's inside the vehicle holding the iron. So I move on. I arrested her last night. How did they arrest you? Where I ran to was when the issue happened. I'm afraid. My mom said that the immediate sister, the one after, uh, after which Bamiche was giving birth to, who is also heavy, she fainted. My, our first daughter, she fainted too. She already sent a name. She wants my child to be named. Oh God, <laughs> she sent a name, she sent a name. <laughs> Okay, then, uh, well, fact of the matter is that, indeed, we will be linking up with um, uh, the police uh, uh, because we do need to be getting directly, so, as we say, from the horse's mouth what the uh, situation is. There are quite a number of details. For instance, one other shadowy one is 
that area where the initial report was that her body had been mutilated and then there was another report that um, actually a family member confirmed that yes he had identified they had identified the body but that um, she was intact so we we don't know the police will probably uh, know if they're able to uh, share any such information and um, uh, Dr. Tony Afoyeton in studio that we were, we were talking about it um, earlier and um, the, the whole uh, you ex you're trying to explain because look we, without prejudice to, prejudice to anything the investigation is ongoing but my thinking was that if there's a security personnel aboard after all not all security people are uniformed people there are some you know, mufti people that are also security. But if the driver is never alone, these are not the days of conductors. So uh, the driver might just find himself in, in that kind of a situation. Now, you see, the old thing is that um, as a security person, I will take the story of the driver with a pinch of salt. And that's just the truth. Because um, and you are talking of you being in, um, in charge of the steering, you know, and you are saying some men showed you arms and they came and abducted a lady, yeah. asked you to stop. You thought, you thought the lady was holding yes, the iron. Yes, we, we heard um, all of that. There, it's not possible because if for any reason, let us assume that you're even right, at that point in time, you will naturally, your eyes will be glued between your front and the mirror. You know, you will definitely know what is happening but, uh, the, at the rear. The, the, young, you know? the young victim w w was saying when she could still communicate mm -hmm. that uh, he wasn't stopping for anybody. How for anybody, How come yes. you now stopped for you these ones? You now stopped for this, yes. That turned out to be point. the hijackers. Thank you. According to you. Thank you. You know, it, it's, um, it's a very straightforward thing. At a point, you were not picking passenger. That was what rose the suspicion and anxiety of that lady mm -hmm. that metamorphosed into her chatting with her friend. That's right. You know, she just needed somebody that would mind. boost her confidence. Yes, yes. At that point in time, she was petrified. But she needed somebody that would boost her confidence. Somebody, and at a time, I'm sure as at the time the lady stopped um, communicating was when those three men you when know, she, bothered the boss. When she couldn't communicate anymore. When she couldn't anymore. communicate anymore. Uh, Mr. Ade in the you UK know. has called in. Let, let's hear from Mr. Ade. Good morning, Mr. Ade. Good morning. It's very sad this morning, honestly. In very, very sorry. sad. Very, very sad. I, I, I worked yesterday. You see, I don't know what my country is becoming now. This is government vehicle, for God's sake. There should be CCTV inside every bus. In the UK, London here, all the yeah. buses have CCTV. So any crime you committed in my, in ten, five years ago, they will bring out the pictures. Everything are up. And apart from that, there are people in the office watching every bus yeah. where they are going, everywhere. So how, why can't Lagos State put CCTV inside these buses and have a monitor office that they can watch? Because according to that girl, she sent a message that the driver is asking for her name, that he likes her, all these sort of things were going on. So the, what the driver is telling us now is a lie. Thank God for the security man in your studio. It's a lie. He just he just trying medicine after thoughts. You see, I I urge uh, Robin Falana to help the family of this lady to sue Lagos State government for two billion naira because they must learn lessons from somewhere. You see, again just coming up like that. This this I mean this is not a mobile or down for our or private car. The government vehicle. Find Lagos. If you never think somebody hijack. You know, the man has a gun. Why can't the driver hit another car when they are going? So that would make them to stop. So it's a lie. Yeah. I just condole with the family. Again, all right thank then. You very much. Th thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ade, for calling in. Uh, it, it is indeed a, a sad one, mm. and uh, we don't know what the facts really are. We, we have what we have. The police, of course, being professionals, are investigating it. They have said that. There's no, <laughs> there will be no cover up, there, no stone will be left unturned, um, you know, uh, that kind of a thing. Uh, you, know. Yari, you know, there no cover up, no stone will be left unturned is a product of, in the course of your investigation, the, those that are linked to the crime. If in the course of your investigation, for example, you now discover that that body part, in court now, whether seen or not seen, is linked to a serving senator, is linked to a serving governor, is linked to a serving minister, what will you do? What can you do? 
But that's, what, what isn't, isn't, isn't that a bit fantastic? Well, 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 you see, no matter how we think I mean, about it... Beginning to approach the realm of fantasy of, that, a linked gov that a governor, a senator uh, could be linked with this as, kind of thing. As a security person, when you do investigation, you are so wild in your thoughts. You yeah. are so wild no to the extent that it no will even, you will even investigate to even the father and the mother of the deceased. That is how it works. Your mind must be open and broad, you know. But having said so, also, you see, this uh, thing you call all this type of murder and the like, by now, for me, the government should really be after those that are requesting for the body parts. Those, this, you call Yahoo boys and all those stuff, 18-year-old boy and 18-year-old girl looking for how to make money very quickly. Somebody ask them to go and bring X and Z, the eye, the leg, the nose, the breast, the whatever. At times, you see, when you go to the root, you are able to solve the problem faster. Because if these boys or these girls do not have a place that they will go and give these body parts and say, please, complete the job. I've done my own part. If they are frustrated at that point in time, it will be to the barest minimum. I hear you. And you but know, today, how many abalists are they arresting? Instead of that, we are busy talking about religious leaders, religious leaders, and the like. What the abalists are doing in this country now are worse, more horrible than what you call about uh, religious leaders, pastors, and imam doing. But you are talking of abalists, you are talking of these people. Now, asking for body part of people, we are not talking about that. We are not moving towards that. We are not crying about that. We are crying about things that you can easily see a pastor. You can fight him if he takes your money. You can fight an imam if he takes your money. But when it comes to herbalist, you run back because you are afraid that he will charm you. Well, you know, I don't want to actually, uh, you know, sort of... Uh, I, that's why I really can't wait to speak with uh, CSP Adekunla uh, Chishiputu because... Um, I don't even want to go there that it's a herbalist affair. And if so, let them say it to us uh, and how they know. Because uh, some of the gray areas about whether or not her body was intact will probably lead more in the direction. But it wasn't for ransom. So one, one has very, very few choices. It wasn't as if it was for ransom. No, kidnapping, kidnapping in most cases are basically that for ransom or ritual. There's always the arrow there. Kidnapping. Is it that for ransom or for ritual? Once it's not a political kidnap, you understand? Once it's not a political kidnap, is it that for ransom or for ritual? That's, those are the two... Basic uh, things. In Africa or around the world? Of globally. 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 Okay. Globally. Look, okay. Okay. when you talk about kidnapping for ritual, it's not only a black man affair. In Western world, you have children being missing almost on a regular basis. But because we have Western media that try to cover their own iniquities to the world, we may not. But if you listen to their local uh, station, you hear of children that are being kidnapped per second. Some are kidnapped maybe for sexual purposes or for ritual purposes. Okay. They have their own ritualistic okay. acts and activities okay. there too. Okay. So ritualistic thing is just the devil is global now. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a mm -hmm. black man affair. It's just the headquarters of the devil's offices in Western world, not even in black man. <laughs> <laughs> as people say yes you know, you know it's, it's most it, of the it, mysticism it's most of the Be big cult you talk about they are in western world Be not in africa what is africa you are talking of witches and wizards that even nepal pole will electrocute have you heard of any electrocution of any white man witch or wizard you know when the young lady uh uluaba meshe ayawale when the young lady boarded the bus, according to reports so far, uh, it, it wasn't in the middle of the night. And in any case, whatever time it was, BRT was on the road. Very BRT well. was on the road. Very so well. BRT must have its regulations as to when its last bus is operational. I, I don't think they just work anyhow, that they can walk into Apart the wee hours that, of the day. See, so BRT has some responsibility. They were on I the road. If the family sues BRT, Lagos state government will be involved because that is gross negligence on the part of the government. They are going to be, no, it's not just the bot trans, uh, response, transit, whatever that is going to be instituted, an action will be targeted. Lagos state government, because they owe it as a point of duty to make sure that all their passengers are safe and secured. 
as at when they are legitimate passengers. And from all indication now, it's obvious that that lady was a legitimate passenger. And with she boarded the vehicle properly. So there's no issue of uh, maybe she was uh, trying to... Mm -mm. So as uh, what did you like? And it like was the, during the official hours uh, of the bus. I like mean, the uh, caller from the England said, look, if you as a driver, you are in such situation, you are not the only vehicle on the road. If you ram into the vehicle that is in front of you, definitely all vehicles will stop. And it is remote for people, for criminals to enter into BRT vehicle to mm -hmm. say they want to rob. Mm -hmm. How much do you want to get from them? This is the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, how much? How much do you want you to know, get from you them? You look at that person, that's a young lady. And as, yes. And, uh, so you won't get any money out of her. So, so the issue is not it, a matter it was of a robbing and It was a mischievous stuff. issue from, there was there was mischief from the very, very beginning. Very well. Uh, Olayinka in Ilori, good morning to you. Olayinka in Ilori, good morning. Good morning, sir. Okay, we're waiting morning, for you. Sir. Please go ahead quickly, please. Good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning, good morning, morning. Mr. Lainka. Good morning. First of all, sir, I want to thank you for doing a good job. Thank you, sir. Yes, good morning, sir. Good morning. We can hear you, but it looks to me like there will be echoes. So don't bother about the echoes. Just keep on speaking. Try to ignore the echo. Carry on, Mr. Lainka. Um, well, not. That's, that's not going to work. Uh, Mr. Lainka was uh, perhaps a bit unsettled by hearing himself after he had said good morning, hearing himself say it again, <laughs> the man just shut down. Don't worry, if that happens, it usually happens with distance and um, there's some sort of interference, uh, some, some delay, I beg your pardon. Uh, so after the sound has gone out, you hear it again. If that should happen, I guess our experience call us not to ignore it and just keep on speaking so that we hear just the one voice. But thank you, uh, Alainka, for calling in from, from Ilori. Uh, please go ahead and call in if you did have anything to say as we wait to speak with um, the Police Public Relations uh, Office in Lagos State Police Command. Um, there's a technical issue because we spoke before coming on air and um, they were uh, ready. I had actually mentioned uh, CSP, Adekunle Ajise Butu, uh, we had spoken before and he is, was ready, is ready, uh, but I don't know what's going on. You know how it can be with uh, technology. But there are a number of points that only the police can clear up, clear up with authority. But from what we are deducing, we're talking about it here, any way you look at it, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy, a 22-year-old. I under, we're reading some of this stuff. Um, she's, supposed to, she, she, she's one of 10 children. And I understand uh, her mother has five daughters and five brothers. Uh, and from uh, all five indications, boy, uh, five from all indications mm -hmm. like she was heavy. Well, again, all of these really tragic, heavy. tragic details So you're not are, just are talking out. of the mother of one person. You're talking of the mother of a mother... And exactly. Exactly. And um, one just hopes and prays that um, in this particular situation that we are still in the middle of, um, and that has been quickly, uh, it hasn't been resolved, but we've quickly got hold of some suspects immediately. One hopes that um, this is was the first of its kind. One hopes I don't that see the driver th things like that suspects. haven't been happening. I don't see the driver as the main suspect. I just see the driver as maybe a pawn, as far as I'm concerned. I don't see the driver as a main suspect. I, I, I just see a situation where everybody has known you, so you go there and see, let's see what we can do. He took off. You, you yes, remember? Yes. He took off, and yes, uh, so according no to the video we saw there, the audio says, uh, he was saying in the audio that, he was afraid. afraid. Why, why are you af what are you, if if you are also a victim? If you are if a victim, you're, you if don't your need vehicle to be was commandeered, yes. you, you, why don't you speak the up? Normal thing, you work for an organization. That thing is absolute lie. You work for an organization. <laughs> it's not your private vehicle. You know the organization will know you. And so it's not it's not a matter of uh, and, and so the normal thing is let us even assume what we're saying was right. The normal thing was to go straight to your office. And report that this is what just happened now. Now I've just been robbed. That's the normal thing. 
but that you went in Comunicado, ran away, went into hiding for days until you were fished out. Okay, I, 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 that's, that's, that's I, Obi has difficult. called in from uh, uh, Taraba State. Good morning, Obi. Uh, good morning, Obi. Bobby, Obi. Bobby. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling in. Uh, Uncle Yori, I, I, I wept when I saw the video of this of this of this of this of this uh, innocent girl. Uncle Yori, there's no way somebody out there will come and tell me or tell us that an, a, a BRT bus that is conveying somebody from Chevron all the way to her, even if, if, if the Chevron bus is if, 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 if the bus is leaving Chevron to to actually mobile in VI. There must be a passenger that will actually stop that bus to get into. It's just very sad that what is going on in this country is is, is, is overwhelming, and there's no way that driver will come and tell us a book a bull story that 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 he he he, 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 he that he actually he was actually blocked. Yeah. I mean, what kind of if that guy has if he's he's an accomplice into the killing of that young girl at that age of 22? For God's sake, this girl is. Just trying to survive at, at, at the age of 22 to, to meet end needs. But I'm very, very sorry to say this. The leadership of this country, our country has disappointed this young lady and the future people coming about. God bless you and God bless you for doing a great job. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate your call. I think the Uber transport services in Lagos generally should be overhauled. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. the first time. Mm -hmm. We've heard of several stories of Uber. With, with, with the car with hires. With the car hires. But this uh, is the then, first B story yes, we're hearing the first BRT. with a bus. A yes. whole bus. We've heard of commercial vehicle, the one chance error on several occasions. Right. One chance, commercial vehicles yeah. and all those stuff. Nothing metamorphosed. Even taxis have been used severally. Now the... Uh, hired uh, vehicles also. We've had a situation where somebody is booking for uh, a, an Uber or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, whatever name it is called, and that person disappears, the vehicle disappears, and before you know it, today we are not hearing anything about it. I just hope that this one will not also be one of those cases where it is burning now, it's very sensational, then later on, it's as good as hearing little or nothing about. I think the government should come out clean here. And the way they can come out clean is to be actively involved, not just leaving it to uh, police. Lagos State Government, because Lagos State Government is going to carry the blame. So and I, that I, I think Lagos State Government is fully yes. involved. So Lagos State the Government must be involved in the investigation process, mm -hmm. so that whatever is coming out of the investigation will be such that is convincing to all Lagosian that this is the true position Indeed. and not the adulterated type of a report and not those type of report that well, at the end of the day your mind would not be at peace that this is the truth. For whatever reason, I don't know why the statement came out that. Uh, uh, there will be no cover up. Of course, there shouldn't be any cover there up. There shouldn't. Thank that, you. That it even came about that we're saying it. Thank at all, you. Uh, was a bit worrisome. But uh, Reverend Dominic, good morning, sir. Reverend Dominic, good morning. Oh, network. No, there must be another issue. Uh, Reverend Dominic, one last time. Reverend Dominic. Um, he can't hear us. He can't hear us. Um, okay, so so sorry about that. Uh, maybe uh, Reverend Dominic, see if you could, uh, if you can hear me, if you can hear me on television, uh, see if you can disconnect and try to reconnect uh, again. So we are getting assurances that you you said well you, you that was it's, it was what it was, but we're getting assurances that there will be no stone left unturned. I think this is like like uh, uh, speaking to. First of all, the, the emotion, the emotional impact of this. This is a 22-year-old lady. Now we're hearing, we, we, we will wait on confirmation that she might actually have been pregnant. Uh, the, the, the brother uh, said it. Uh, we, 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 said it. We, we, we heard it on yes, the Yes, he said know. it, that she was heavy. And it happened in the most responsible environment she could have been for the situation. She wanted to travel. The, one of the she most civilized environments in Lagos yes. State. She was coming from Chevron, boarded uh, a BRT bus. Now, they don't... The, 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 the concept is that 
it doesn't get safer than a BRT bus for whatever reason. It doesn't. It was psychological. Now yes. we know that that was psychological. Uh, because um, if there was always another person, maybe an armed person in the bus, uh, he didn't. He, I think you security people, you have the ones about concealed arms, you have the ones that you show it. Uh, at least nobody can hijack a bus easily, is the way I'm thinking now, as just an ordinary citizen. Uh, if it is known that you can't just walk on a bus and tell the driver, begin to drive in this way, you, there, will be somebody, there, you, there will be somebody for you to answer to. Uh, but this is in addition to the CCTV camera that you had spoken about, mm -hmm. but I don't know how feasible uh, these things Lagos are. Lagos State is a densely populated state. Uh, with the exception of isolated cases like this, um, having armed, whether concealed or not concealed, um, to what extent will you be able to achieve the desired result? This is a one-off singular event. We are not praying that we should have a reoccurrence. Okay. I think we have uh, the CSP on now. Uh, Chief Superintendent of Police, uh, Adekunle Ajisebutu, Police Public Relations Officer, Lagos State Command. Uh, good morning to you, CSP. I can see that we're having a, a bit of technical problems, uh, but Mr. Ajise, aha. G good morning to you, Mr. Ajisebutu. All that is left now is for you to be able to hear me. I can see you. And I believe you can see me, but I'm saying good morning. Ah, <laughs> I, hope, I hope the audio or the mic or something like that is on. Maybe uh, he's muted. Uh, well, I don't think if he's, he's, if, if he's muted. If he's muted, then... He, he will hear you. It's it, just that you won't. He, won't, he will be talking. Um, CSP. <laughs> CSP, um, we can see you, but I don't know that you can hear us. Well, uh, I'm sure the guys upstairs are working on, are, are working on it, um, but we do have him here. And um, why we need, uh, it just, we, we know that the police have been working around the clock on this. Uh, so between when everybody heard the live feed, the videos and all of that, and now. Uh, there might have been some progress, some movement that the police would want to share. Uh, maybe there are things that the police, w maybe the police wants to ask the public for help. I, I don't know. It happens. Uh, uh, but these are, this is why we, we thought we had really uh, made a find when we were able to get uh, CSP Adekunle Ajishibutu to join us on the program. Uh, he's the public, uh, police public relations officer, Lagos State Police Command. But it does look like there's, there's a technical area. If you sort the technical area out, I'm sure that um, uh, you'll be joining with us. So now we want to know where the investigation is going. What we would have wanted was to get our girl, to get Uluaba uh, Ayonweli, to get her back mm. and hear all these stories. That's what we would have wanted. Mm. That's what the police, too, would have probably have wanted. But oh, unfortunately, fortunately. they were to find and announce uh, her body. And um, it's heart-wrenching to any parent, uh, anybody, anybody. I, I, I don't know to what extent the corpse has been um, tampered with. with. Uh, the normal thing is for you to look at a, a forensic investigation. Uh, a forensic investigation will give you a full oversight of um, what, how the a disease died. Uh, was it through strangulation? Uh, was it through uh, maybe any other form of death? Yeah. A forensic investigation will be able Blunt to force, tell you. trauma, yes, exhaustion, uh, ex uh, uh, bleeding well. out, all sorts of reasons. Yes. Then, of course, um, the fingerprints. Uh, the forensic investigation will be able to lift out all, even if there are 100 fingerprints on the corpse the forensic investigation will be able to li you know, lift as much as it can So this is what out. police must have been working on uh, all this time. You know, uh, so these are areas that I think that the, you know, even the crime scene, the crime scene as at that time, you, you understand what I'm saying now? Now, the rail within that very vicinity, I expected that by now they should be able to lift up some fingerprints out of the rail. No, I'm but the question is whether we have the proper bio, uh, uh, data bank 
to be able to match with the information that you are able to because leave. it's one thing to get fingerprints it's, yes, it's another, another thing, thing to get but a, having a set said on file so too, to match it to yes but uh, what i'm saying is if the driver for example uh, is properly interrogated uh, we expect that he should be able to mention some names now you can take the fingerprints and biometrics of those that are for one or the other and match it with what you already have that will also give you if any one of them is denying i was not there okay uh, uh, you know what um well we, what we've done is that um technology can either go forward or backwards and uh, i think we've sort of driven it a bit backwards uh csp ajibutu can now join us uh, via phone we wanted the video but we'll take the phone if that's what we can get uh, so good morning to you csp Good morning, sir. Okay, this is Yori Folani in studio alongside Dr. Tony Ofoyeto, uh, as you might have seen if you've been watching the program. So what we've been desperate, to, uh, yeah. So what we've been desperate to ask you is, um, uh, can can you give us any further progress on your work? I imagine the police has been working around the clock on this whole matter. Um, any further information to add? Uh, uh, first, I want to appreciate the wonderful work you're doing. Um, we are talking about the death of a young promising lady here um, as a responsible uh, law enforcement organization and as parents, uh, we are saddened by the ugly incident. On behalf of the Legal State Commission of Police, uh, CP Abiyodun Walabi, FBC, MNIM, PSC, uh, his management team, officers and men of the Legal State Police Command, we sincerely express our uh, heartfelt uh, condolence to the village family. Um, having said that, um, we, uh, we are on top of the situation. Uh, the case, as you know, is under investigation. Uh, the Commissioner of Police has, in addition to the earlier directives given to the studies handling the case, have also given the further directives. Uh, to the team handling this case to ensure speedy investigation and diligent investigation with a view to ensuring a successful prosecution. We want to assure members of the public and the bereaved family of this justice and that the justice will be served. Um, Mr. Jishibutu, are you able to um, share with us uh, because you, the police announced the uh, Find, uh, finding the body. Are you able to share with us, was the body intact? Uh, yes. Your account is low. Please be charged as soon as possible. Or dial stop. <laughs> um, so that's that. Um, as soon as uh, CSP IG Shibutu can reconnect, uh, I'm sure the producers will immediately jump on it. Uh, we'll reconnect with... Uh, uh, the chief superintendent of police. <laughs> uh, Guyori, you know, I, I just want to plead with the police that uh, in as much as I know that um, they are doing their job. And they're doing and their best, um, hopefully. Doing their best, hopefully. And then um, the CSP, as expected, would want to be very cautious in what it says in public domain. But I think not just giving us um, the assurance, uh, but giving us information well, is what uh, will you, give you, us the assurance. You're, you're a pro yourself. Yes. You know um, that no, people are, are, there investigators are, are very stingy with no, the information. They, I know. There are information you will give that would bring down the whole tension. Uh, Why you leave out the sensitive ones. You understand? There are information, for example, you know, um, that we are already trailing, we discover that uh, it's not only this man that is involved. It, it, there is nothing special about that information. You know, we have discovered also that, um, you know, uh, those that are involved, uh, we have identified their hideout and we are bringing them out. What they will say is not our business. What those that are involved will say will not be our business. But that you assure us that you are you are trailing those that are involved you know will give us some level of assurance um the police is always on top of all its cases no doubt about that it's my constituency and i love it so much you know uh, but having said so this one is such that like he identified 
It's touching on our soul. It, it's so painful that we try as men to control our emotion. It, you know, it could be anybody's child. And that is always the reason why we feel this pain. Okay. And well, that is why the government should uh, come all out. Okay. Uh, uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Joshua in Irewalide. Uncle Yori, good morning, and good morning to Foyaton. Uh, Thank you Uncle very Yori, much. Uncle it's uh, very saddening. My condolences to the family of uh, the deceased uh, lady. Very, very, very sad Indeed. for us. But Uncle Yori, it is time for us to start talking about our own contribution towards some conversations that are ongoing. I'm on social media, Uncle Yori, and... Uh, for about three, four years, I have been shouting, uh, money ritual is a scam. Money ritual is a scam. Do you know that whether they are Christians, young people, they will come after me on Facebook and be cursing my father, my mother, everybody, <laughs> that uh, money ritual is real. And they will be ex explaining how it is done. I have seen it happen somewhere. This person did it, became rich. That one did it and became rich. On, on social media, Uncle Yori, yeah. young people, mm. they, are, they are everywhere, like, hammering you. And these people are so bold, Uncle Yori, to come on social media, to even be advertising to you, mm. that you should come and, you should come and uh, uh, they will do money ritual, they will make you rich, come and buy. They advertise their phone numbers and everything. And I'm wondering, if these people are so bold to come to social media, to come to the public, they advertise themselves, you call them, you can actually connect to them. Sometimes I will just try, call them, and I would like, what is wrong with you? Now you want to make me rich by killing another person. Kill yourself or kill your child. They okay. will block me. All right. Uh, all right, then. Uh, thank you very much for calling in. I uh, really appreciate your call, Mr. Joshua. Uh, I think we can now link back up with uh, CSP uh, Adekule Ajishibutu. Uh, back to you, Mr. Ajishibutu. Uh, uh, hello. Good morning again, Mr. Ajishibutu. CSP Adekule Ajishibutu, Police Public Relations Officer, Lagos State Police Command. Are we connected? Um, it looks like it's still a work in progress. And it's so tantalizing because I, 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 I believe he did confirm to us that the body was intact. No, I didn't hear it. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, um, because the, the question, so there still is a technical issue. There are days like this. There are days like this, unfortunately. But um, again, picking up on what Mr. Joshua in Yeridu Walidi was saying there, all these things, they just bring about other questions. Uh, yes, indeed, what he's saying, that there are people who are actually advertising their... I've uh, seen one. Uh, it's just, so, I, I was... So, so, I was so, so what, and you, you, you do that kind of a thing, and you don't get a police, uh, you, you don't get a visit from the Secret uh, Service? Uh, uh, this I, one I understand was that in America. One. Sorry, mm -hmm. sir. I understand that in America. If you want to test them out, I understand. Maybe it's a fabu. That... Um, in your bar, just begin to talk rough or anyhow about the president of America. Mm. Just, just because you can. Mm. I understand that you, in all likelihood, uh, will be paid a visit. Uh, you know that this is just the way it works. Well, it depends on the administration. Is they have freedom of speech. Once what you are saying has nothing to do with uh, national security. No, once you are speaking nobody, in a threatening form about the president. Nobody, nobody is going to... Okay. This is your okay. So maybe it was Fabu. You are maybe talking it was about Fabu, um, uh, uh, overthrowing the government. Uh, hey, you know you that are kind of talking thing. about national security issue, and it's applicable everywhere, including Nigeria. And you are being disrespectful to the president. Uh, you know, any old house. Remember you the know? person that named his dog after the president that was taken to court. He was visited by people. Uh -huh, so he was taken to court. So it's everywhere. It's not just in Nigeria. Okay. Um. Good morning, Ada. Um, in Joss. Good morning, Mr. Yuri and uh, Dr. Tony. Uh, in fact, um, he has made my day, honestly speaking. I don't know whether the government or is to listen to this program. You know, that's uh, that calling from those part of state. You Thank know you. what bothers me? What bothers me is the way we go about issues such as this, murder. And that is why it, it, it continues. You know, DRT is a, a, a state-owned uh, bus. 
Lagos State government should be in the center of this. They should take up the matter in the first instance if it is in a functional democracy. You know, well, I listen to the brother, but, uh, you know, uh, and all that. I, I, I believe the bro uh, I believe the the, uh, the governor has actually commented on the matter, uh, has spoken on this whole matter, uh, saying that Lagos State government um, uh, will get to the bottom of this. I, I believe that. Let's hope they get to the bottom of it, Mr. Yuri. Let me tell you something. If we are here. We are on the top of the we're on top of the situation. We leave no stone unturned. Or even on the party. So the time they said they will leave no stone unturned, and the only person they, they did not leave any stone unturned was one uh, uh, retired uh, this uh, major or whatever you know general. They, they went and uh, even the funds. They even uh, they did not leave any funds unturned. If you understand what I'm trying to say, you understand? Because it, it has to do with that kind of person. That's what I'm trying to say. So we, we, you, can't, you can't be having discriminatory ways of handling issues of uh, injustice. This is a government vehicle. Somebody bothered it. He brought their life. The driver is, belongs to the, the government. Another thing is that the recruitment process, how did they even, uh, I mean, uh, recruit this doc, I mean, uh, driver? I heard the, the driver saying that, you know, say, you are afraid. You are driving from the Lagos State. You, you, you had a problem with that uh, involved life. Why didn't you go back to the, your employer and tell them on the spot? Before you know it, now it become a nine days wonder. Don't talk about it for a few weeks. After some time, the family will be there, you know, crying out, you know, hope, uh, asking for people to wait in, and, you know, uh, justice should be done. That is what is happening. That's why you, there's no, nobody it seems to be patriotic and average Nigerian. Look at what is happening in Ukraine. Look at how the boys are ready. I saw one, like a student, they asked him, he said, there can't be any uh, uh, school for me in which there's no country. I'm going to hit the call of our president. I'm going to carry the gun. Students of 19, 20 years in Ukraine. Can it happen here? Everything will be in this book. I mean, uh, you should be patriotic. You should be uh, Nigeria is one. You should be uh, this and that. This and okay. that. You, 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 you're not just patriotism. All the same. Let's not give up on this country. It's not unfortunate. Every time people are killed just like that. Yes. Yeah. Every day. Look at the other stage. That one, uh, the child was killed. And the other said, it's a uh, 30 whatever. I don't know the English they are speaking. They want really? a 31 uh, slash of cane. Oh. A child that was, you know, two years old. Uh, Mr. Yori, now they are speaking drama. Okay, Ada, thank you very much uh, for calling in. It is, uh, uh, it, it, you, you, could hear, you could hear the annoyance in her voice. Uh, uh, just like uh, everybody is concerned, everybody is annoyed that such a, I mean, Oluwa uh, Bamishi Ayinwole was 22 for goodness sake. She had her whole life ahead of her. So what did she do wrong? Uh, there is a sense perhaps in which her society failed her. Maybe I can go as far as that, uh, because um, she did everything right. She, she took the right kind of bus. Uh, it was in a very public place. It was, you know, even if it was in the evening, uh, what it, as Ida was saying, in broad daylight. Uh, so this, this, this can be quite frustrating. And I guess Governor Sonwo and his administration, um, because um, this concerns them, it's one of their buses, public buses, one of the buses of Lagos State citizenry government for the citizens and so they're going to want to be involved in this and uh, the governor has said as much the police have said they're entirely on board i guess the the whole idea now is so what do we do that this doesn't happen again uh, they're going to have to break it down break the steps down according to what and then the gov uh, the the driver uh, you have the driver so that's a suspect right uh, but as you were saying it goes way beyond the yeah, driver. Yeah, it goes way beyond the driver. But um, as far as what to do next, one of the things I'm looking at is um, uh, the government revisiting its recruitment procedure and um, uh, look at being able to profile all the drivers properly before yeah, they are engaged one. It. Yeah. Um, that is going forward. Yes. W one yes. second, please. Let me bring in Mazio Okorafo, who has called in late on usually. Uh, Mazio Okorafo, good morning, sir. Uh, we don't have good more morning, than sir, 45 morning. seconds for you. All right, sir. No, even 30 seconds is okay. okay. Madam Siki, what I suggest to the government is this. Any occurrence of such incident, the network provider should help the police authority, the SS, with all the security agents, because with the network, the networking, you will track down wherever what is happening. But we neglected this network problem, that network issue. That is the problem. And even the federal, the, 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 the security agents follow the network. Mister, this is a group that happened like this. It's so unfortunate. I'm sorry to report that. Authority concerned, please 
They're blocking the joint venue program, monitor whatever that happens, 247. Not a question of you have this, they're not monitoring. Proper monitoring. All right, then. Thank you very much, uh, Mazu Okoro for, Okoro for calling in from Arojuku. I dare say a lot of people might also have wanted to call in, but it wasn't possible. So we're going to have to uh, leave it there. And it's so unfortunate that we didn't get the very best of uh, uh, CSP, Adekunle Ajishi Butu, PPRO, uh, Lagos uh, State Command. Uh, we didn't get the best of him, even though he was willing. Um, uh, there's something I, I was hoping he would say to me. I thought I heard it. You say you didn't hear it, and both of us are here, so I just leave that one. That, well, it's a matter to, to, to investigate uh, as we go along. Uh, thank you very much, Tony. Dr. Tony Ofoyeton is, uh, apart from being a lawyer, DG of the International Institute of Professional Security. It's and my pleasure. Thank our you. Our pleasure always, uh, Dr. Ofoyeton.